welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I am starting this vlog on a Saturday evening, which is a very random time to start the vlog. I probably should have started the vlog early, to be honest. I went into town with Byron and Freya and we just basically had a little mooch around. We had to do like errandy sort of stuff. So we were going to the banks, we went to like the phone shop, we went to a couple of like clothes shops, basically just all errand stuff and I helped Byron shoot an ad. And yeah, that was pretty much how I spent my Saturday. And then this evening we we're actually going out. It was Callum's birthday whilst we were in Ibiza, but obviously he couldn't celebrate with like all of our friends because there was only a few of us who were in Ibiza. So we're doing a night out at home for Callum. I'm very excited. Byron and Freya are on their way over to mine now. And then we're going to head over to Callum's for pre's at like half nine-ish. And then we're going to go out for like 12. I'm actually really excited. It's been a long, long time since I've been out in Manchester. I don't really go out in Manchester that much anymore because I haven't been here. So now that I'm here, I actually want to like explore more bars, go to those different places here. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to get back out there in Manchester tonight. Also, no, this isn't a real fringe. This is my snapped pieces of hair. And I know... No, I'm not going to be able to go out like this because as soon as I go out the wind is going to literally blow my hair up because the wind around my buildings for some reason is actually crazy it doesn't make sense how it's only windy in my buildings or like around my buildings but um I thought it would be nice just to start the vlog with this I was just taking a few pictures and I was like I love this fringe but I think I'm just too scared to actually get it cut in because I've heard loads of people say that they love the fringe when it's styled but when it's not styled apparently it's just really hard to like do I don't know let me know your opinion down below if you guys have a fringe I'm quite lucky at the moment that these are just my snap pieces of hair and I can just bring them forward but then at the same time I can just put them to the side and they'll blend in with my curls. Just thought it would be nice to take a few pictures with my hair like this because I'm kind of obsessed. I'm kind of enjoying the vibe. I'm literally just wearing a plain long sleeve black top and black trousers tonight. No one's going like dressy at all. We're just wearing super cash clothes. I know Frey is in jeans and a top and I think Byron's in jeans and a top too. So yeah I'm not gonna bring my camera out. I am gonna vlog on my phone but I will do you guys a little montage of this evening and then tomorrow I'm sure we're gonna be dealing with a very hungover and a Asia because I haven't been out with everybody in Manchester for months so it's gonna be a bit of a heavy one but I'm very excited. If this doesn't explain a hungover room explanation to anyone then I don't know what is. I've literally just woken up, Byron's just left mine and this is what my room looks like. Oh my god we got McDonald's at god knows what time last night. I was so drunk I can't with today. I look phenomenal. I've eaten some food and I still don't feel great. I feel better than what I did. Loving my hangover choice of outfit here. I've got my cute little shorts on on my top that I wore last night and this is still my bed hair but I'm up and it's like it's two o'clock. It's two o'clock on a Sunday. But I'm kind of enjoying having like a hangover Sunday because I feel like I haven't had a really just boring hungover lazy Sunday for ages. Basically right you guys must have seen on TikTok this full Roman Empire thing. It's actually baffling me like beyond belief because I have never maybe I have but like not that I remember thinking of it thought of the Roman Empire it's just not something that I think of daily like I don't know whether it's a man thing or like a male thing to think about the Roman Empire but it's just never really something that I've thought of I can't tell if everyone's on one big wind up by the way this is like a TikTok trend at the moment if you haven't seen it can't tell if everyone's on like one big wind up and all the videos are fake but then like some of the videos look so genuinely real of like people asking their parents so I text my dad I was like how often do you think about the Roman Empire and he said only when I'm in Rome so I was like okay like that's more understandable because I guess when I was in Rome a couple of years ago I probably thought about the Roman Empire because there's well I'm in Rome so I rang Atticus and I was like Atticus how often do you think about the Roman Empire bearing in mind he's obviously nine years old and he said to me that he thinks about it often because he's really interested in it which actually makes sense because my mum and Atticus went to Rome this summer and Atticus was making my mum do like all of the walking tours all around Rome they were like out for hours every day doing these walking tours of all like the Roman ruins so I guess it makes sense. I haven't actually asked my mum how often she thinks it but I feel like my mum's just gonna have one of those reactions of like Anna I've got better things to think about do you know what I mean like that sort of reaction but I'm gonna call her and I'm gonna ask anyway because I'm just so baffled and I don't actually have any other like male older guy in my life that I can ask how often they think of the Roman Empire so I'm gonna call my mum and I'm going to ask my mum. If she says that she thinks of it often, then I'm going to be absolutely baffled. But let's see. 
Hi, Hi, Bubs. Can I speak to Mummy? I'm here, I can hear you. Hi, Mum, you alright? Oh, you're asleep. No, she's not. I'm not asleep, not a mess today. We, we went on a four mile jog walk this morning. Oh, that's it. You went on a four mile jog? Jog walk, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway, I just had a quick question. How often do you think of the Roman Empire? I never think of it. 100% never think of it? No, 100% never. Alright. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> right, I think I caught her at a really bad time because she was half asleep. I went on a four mile jog and run this morning. What a productive Sunday. But I'm just like, I'm just so baffled by it. But I love watching it on my For You page. Like, literally, my full For You page is people talking about the Roman Empire and but the thing is it still hasn't made me think of it even more like what is the girl equivalent of thinking about the Roman Empire because for me if someone said to me how often do you think about aliens I would genuinely say like four or five times a week because I always think about aliens but I think that's because I want them to exist so basically I want to know what's the girl equivalent or what do you guys think about like weekly that you think a lot of other people would think about anyway that's my hungover thought of the day I'm now going to tidy up because my room still looks exactly like it did when I showed you a couple of hours ago with all the McDonald's bags everywhere which is not cute. So I'm going to go tidy that up I'm going to go tidy my makeup up and then I am going to go on a hot girl walk with my ex-boyfriend <laughs> Oh, it's all for the plot. No, I'm joking. We're actually still really good friends. I just haven't seen him in a while. So we're going to go on a little walk or like a nice little sit down because I don't really feel like walking if I'm honest. I'm very tired, very hungover. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And then I also need to do a food shop. But the thing is, food shops are going to shut in two hours. So I don't think I'm going to have time to do a food shop. I might have to do that tomorrow. Right, I'm back from my hot girl walk that wasn't actually a walk. We just sat down and spoke for about an hour. But I am about to have some dinner. But I literally have to speak to you guys about this because I am like beyond obsessed it's my favorite thing that i've ever discovered when i was in ibiza well actually every time i've been in ibiza this year i've been having the spelling wasn't this on the one in ibiza it was just aioli but this is like alioli Ali, is that how you say it i don't know but oh my god it is the best thing i've ever had like when i was in ibiza this was like my girl dinner i love those tiktoks and this is literally my girl dinner like this with crusty bread and then when i got back and i saw it in asda my heart was beating out of my chest i've never been so excited so i've got this and i was thinking to myself i could have like a girl dinner tonight and just have loads of like picky bits then i realized it's a sunday which means i need to have a roast dinner but i'm eating on my own tonight so i thought i'm gonna order a roast dinner and i've just ordered one it's from a place called essie's it's just like i've ordered from there before they used Used to be a place in manchester called like the roast dinner company or something similar like that and they did the best roast dinners and they only delivered on a sunday and i can't find them anywhere now like i swear they're on uber eats or delivery but can't find them so i've just ordered it from a place called essie's but i have had it from there before and i remember it being amazing so i've ordered myself a roast dinner and i'm gonna sit and watch a really good film this is like the perfect sunday evening for me i'm gonna light some candles and get all cozy on the sofa don't know what film to watch yet i was maybe gonna watch i think it's called the like the sleepover and it's got Sadie Stanley in it the girl who played Kim Possible in the real life action one so I maybe will watch that I don't know I just don't really have any like films that I'm dying to watch at the moment or maybe I'll put Harry Potter on because I feel like that's a really autumny like Christmassy sort of film like I just wouldn't watch Harry Potter like midsummer but when it's all like cozy and stuff I think Harry Potter's like the perfect film to watch so maybe I'll watch that actually my roasting is going to be here in like 20 minutes and I can show you then for afters this is what I'm having honestly you need to get some it's from Asda and when you just dip like crusty bread in it oh so good <gasps> dinner has arrived it comes so quickly as well i've got cauliflower cheese yorkshire stuffing mashed potato carrots green beans roast and then a big piece of chicken and atticus is here having dinner with me say hi hi good boy what did you just have well you've already had your dinner but now you're eating wheatos yeah wheatos lovely i've just been over nanny's oh was it fun yeah all right then we can have dinner together now good morning everyone it is the next day and i'm looking a lot fresher feeling a lot fresher as well i honestly felt so rough last night i'm not gonna lie i laid and did absolutely nothing i think i was on tiktok for about five hours which is kind of embarrassing to admit but the perfect hungover sunday anyway it's monday today and i've got a really busy and exciting week and today i'm actually filming one of my favorite videos of the year and it is the mcdonald's monopoly video i've done this for the last like four years where i spend either like 100 pounds or 200 pounds on mcdonald's to see if we can actually try and win and every year i never win win anything other than instant wins i think one year i won the brown so i got like old ken road and Whitechapel road is that what it's called i think it's called that one year i got that and then ever since i literally haven't won anything so fingers crossed for this year that i'm actually going to win one of the other prizes or the mcdonald's gold
gold card. Oh my god, I would love to win that. But yeah, that is today's little video which I'm going to do. So I'm just waiting for CLE to come over. He's about 10 minutes away and then I'm going to order all of the food. Was going to go around the drive throughs but it's just so hard to carry it all. So I've just ordered it on like a couple of separate orders on Uber Eats and Deliveroo. And then it is actually Mila's first birthday today. Mila is Callum's cat. So I'm going to go to Pets at Home. I'm going to get her a cute little like cat toy or something and we're going to go over and see Callum and Daniela and Liv and Mila which is going to be fun. And then yeah, got a very exciting week but oh my god guys, I am in pain today. I've actually just had to pop you down because I don't know what it is right. The other night, so not last night, not the night before that but the night before that I decided to do an at home workout. It was like 11 o'clock at night. I was laid down on the sofa and I was like I fancy doing something so I'm going to do a workout of all things. I was in absolute agony. Like it hit me more yesterday but like my stomach and my abs every time I laughed I coughed tried to get up it felt like pain like actual pain like my legs were in pain and now like all my shoulder and like the side of my throat and like my ear is in pain obviously I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with me doing a workout because I didn't work out my ear or my neck but I'm in pain today and I'm just like oh I want it to go so I'm going to take some tablets in a minute just to see if it kind of like takes the edge off of it but yeah I'm very excited for today it's going to be fun and then I'm actually am I in, oh yeah I'm in London this week I'm going on Joe and George's podcast but it's actually just me and Joe we're doing a little solo episode on Wednesday which is going to be really fun and then Joe's actually in Manchester tomorrow so we're going to go and get some food I'm going to take him out to a nice restaurant in Manchester and we're going to get some lunch and then I've got a couple of events this week and then I've also got Jazz's leaving meal because Jazz is leaving to travel Australia and Asia with her boyfriend and she's not going to be here for six months so there's like a massive group of us all going out for dinner to say our goodbyes so yeah very nice wholesome vlog this week right all of the food has arrived I am a little bit shocked at how much there is to be honest I had to use two different delivery drivers and then a third one turned up and he had to have help to carry all the drinks so I think is there 10 different bags here there's 10 different bags I'm doing 200 pounds this year because McDonald's has got suddenly very expensive and I was like not gonna get enough with 100 pounds to do like a full YouTube video but yeah we're gonna sit in front of the video now I'm very excited Here is the table. We're just trying to figure out how to lay it out so it all looks like even. I've ordered like even amount of things. I'm just trying to figure it out. There's so much food this year, guys. So excited to see this. this is my literal favorite day of the year. This is the reality of when we've finished filming the McDonald's video. We are pretending we work at McDonald's and we're packaging everybody's orders up. So just sorting out stuff for Daniela, Callum and Liv currently. Just putting some drinks in here. We're actually giving them two bags of stuff. They've also got an Asda bag full down there as well. And I've just took Byron's order. So I'm gonna do Byron's order now. Here is our first delivery bag. I've also got 12 donuts. Let's take over to Callum's for Mila's birthday. I don't want to look at fast food again after today. I've been doing really well with eating really good. So I'm excited that this is my only fast food day. Then after that, I can get back to eating normal again. We're back in home bargains. Actually, no, we're not back in home bargains. It's the first time we've come to home bargains. And I've just found another pumpkin, which I'm going to get. And then look at all this Halloween stuff. What is that? Easily impressed. I'm easily impressed. They've got so much stuff. They've got cute little tea lights. They've got bath bombs. I'm so excited about doing a Halloween party party this year i'm gonna have like more of like a tea party just for like our like immediate friendship group in manchester but oh i'm actually being serious about the fact i want to do goodie bags for everyone because i'm actually that sort of like i was gonna say that sort of mum. i'm not a mum yet but i know i'm gonna be that sort of mum. and look at all the cups oh my god i'm gonna do such a good halloween spread this year guys just wait <gasps> look at the pumpkin i'm in my element right now is it too early to talk about christmas but how cute is this you guys know grinch is my fave christmas film grinch bomb it's a mug melt with chocolate chips and marshmallows in and they also have a green one as well obviously i'm not going to start buying christmas stuff when i'm literally mid talk about halloween party but how cute they have a grinch advent calendar grinch Short stole christmas <gasps> stop in a little book <gasps> Oh, oh, it's in a packet. That's so cute though, the little tin. Oh, they have a Grinch decorating kit as well for like gingerbreads and stuff. That's so cute. Yeah, that's one for the Christmas party. And I'm gonna get the advent calendar as well nearer to Christmas. Oh, the mask. Elf is a lot of people's favorite Christmas film actually, but it's Sass' favorite Christmas film. And if we're gonna do a Christmas gift swap this year, Sass, if you're watching, this is gonna be one of your presents in it because I know that you absolutely love Elf. Home bargains so are slaying cool. the Christmas stuff this year. These will be on my sofa once November 1st rolls around. $6.99 a cute little candy cane and then one of those that says merry and i love it because like i don't really like i mean i don't mean it's any offense but it to look tacky i want it to look very like simple and sleek and i feel like these look quite like simple sleek and just like nice okay now i'm shopping for mila i'm gonna get a cute little um dreamies 
birthday like pack they have a goodie bag pack there which is like seaside themed treats or they have that christmas one but i don't really want to get her a christmas one because it literally is still september so maybe i get her we have the seaside one or the mixed grill goodie bag maybe we get her one of those they have these too they have like a dreamy stocking which is so cute but it is just too early and look at little oh look at the little mini stocking pack oh i can't wait to get my own little cat guys callum is gonna hate us but we're gonna get a one balloon because it's free helium filling so we're gonna turn up with some tree meats and a one balloon for the cat <laughs> we've just basically stood in home bargains waiting for that balloon whilst we've planned a little birthday song for mila basically callum is probably going to cut this out of the vlog but we were gonna well callum was it was cam's idea but we we're gonna throw like a full blown party for Mila's first birthday but nobody feels that well so Callum just thinks that I'm popping over to drop some of the McDonald's but little does he know we've planned a full song for Mila's birthday got her a present Callum just got her a balloon and we're gonna do a little performance for them both like this. because happy we've lost the plot birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear Mila happy birthday to you hip hip meow <laughs> We've lost oh. the plot. I have too much time on my hands today. Are you ready? Mila, Anna? she's posing. Oh yeah. Oh look at her. It. We've tied the balloon to the to the bed. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mila. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Meow. Hip hip. I love it, but I don't think she does. Oh, baby, we just did that really loud in Home Bargains. Imagine everyone's reaction. <laughs> Obviously, we're waiting for the balloon. I'm back from the shop. It is dinner time, and I'm actually got HelloFresh for this week, which I'm really excited about. So, I'm gonna cook myself a little HelloFresh meal. So, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. But I'm having teriyaki chicken and crispy onions, and I love teriyaki chicken. But I need to speak to you guys about onions real quick because. So, I have a feeling that it might be onions that are causing my like IBS and stomach to really swell and flare up because I really realized that i haven't had onion all day yesterday and all day today because i didn't eat it in the big tasty when i was like eating that i took it out and my stomach hasn't flared up and i know that onion is really common for like flare-ups and stuff like that so i think it might be onion so if this crispy onion sets my stomach off or i start to get like a bad stomach after this then it's definitely onion and that is like a sad sad day for me because onion is one of my favorite foods and i guess like i won't completely completely cut it out because i do love it but i'm obviously just gonna have it super sparingly because it doesn't sit right with me maybe i just need to have less because i do have a lot of it oh, that's so annoying because i love onion it might not be but it just seems a bit of a coincidence that i haven't had onion my stomach's fine also obviously the candle's lit but i've got another pumpkin to add to the collection oh my god my carpet is so gross i need to clean my carpet please ignore that because of all the dust that comes in when i have the windows open but how cute and oh my god i've also got my pot of puree out i call it pot of puree some people call it potpourri maybe it's just from where i'm from or how i've been brought up i don't really know but i love it so much I got it from um home sense you got it from home sense and it's got like cute little pumpkins in it's got pine cones in and i just thought it looked like really really nice in this bowl just to kind of like bring all the autumn vibes together and then yeah got this pumpkin today from home bargains it was like 3.99 which is so cute and it fits perfectly with the other two and dinner is served i don't know why it looks this dark i think it's because i've got no lights on but it is basmati rice with green beans chicken in a teriyaki sauce with crispy onions on top so let's see if these onions give me a bloated belly right i had my dinner it was gorgeous but <laughs> my stomach is like a balloon it is so big and so bloated right now like i'm that bloated i can't breathe properly because my stomach is in that much pain so it must be onion like onion must be one of my triggers which is so sad because i love onion so much but i'm gonna cut it out for the rest of the week and see if it makes a difference but oh my god i need to get in bed so i'm gonna end this part of the vlog here and i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm gonna get in bed and watch my mum your dad so excited it's literally my favorite show ever hi everyone it is a couple of days later i was well i have been completely completely written off the last two days i actually did start to vlog and then i physically couldn't because i have been so unwell i do not know where it come from it was so random so basically not yesterday the day before joe bags was up in manchester so we went for lunch we went to saku samba and we had so much like nice food it was amazing like loads of fish like sushi everything like that and it was so good got home had some chicken because i cooked myself a meal and then later that night i started to feel a little bit funny 
but I was like, oh, like maybe I'm just tired. Like I'm just like getting on well. And then about three in the morning, I was heaving over the toilet with the worst sickness, like need to be sick. I think I've probably ever experienced. And that carried on like the full sickness feeling carried on from three until about six o'clock last night. And I was meant to be in London yesterday. I had a meeting, like a really important meeting that I needed to go to that I had to cancel. I was meant to be on Joe's podcast that I had to cancel and I was meant to go to an event and I had to cancel because I was like, I physically can't come because I'm going to be sick at every single event. So I'm really glad that I just stayed in bed and didn't do anything because if I did go, it would have seriously been a recipe for disaster. Also, why is the wall gone so white behind me? The lighting in my office right now is like, wow. But yeah, it was just awful. And so I couldn't do anything yesterday. I laid in bed all day and I wanted to vlog, but I looked like I was on death's door. So it wasn't even worth me picking the camera up and filming. So I'm back today. I'm feeling so much better. I had like, once the sickness had gone, I had a really, really, really tight feeling in my chest, like all here. And I was having to like deep breathe. And I was like, what is actually wrong with me? And then I was Googling my symptoms, which I know I shouldn't be doing, but I felt like in an okay mindset to like Google, is it a symptom of, because obviously I've got PCOS and suspected endo. And apparently all of that can be an endo symptom and I'm due on my period in like five days. So I was like, yeah, this is more than likely endo, which obviously I don't have a hundred percent diagnosis for, but they're pretty sure that I do have it. And I was reading about this like specific type of endometriosis where it can grow upwards, like into the upper part of your body and cause like, like shoulder pain and like chest pain and all of that stuff and I was like you know what it honestly wouldn't surprise me at this point I just realized I need to put my necklace on my Van Cleef necklace I've taken it off a couple of days ago I need to put it back on I was just feeling for it like where is it but yeah so that happened but I'm feeling so much better today the chest pain kind of carried on into this morning but this is going to sound really stupid right since putting my bra on it's got better and I honestly think it's hurting my back like having big boobs which I know is actually a really common problem because I know a couple of people who have actually had to have boob jobs on the NHS because their boobs were so big that it was causing them really bad back pain and when I lifted my boobs up to give them like some support the pain was like subsided and it was going and I was like oh my god maybe like also this is because my boobs are so heavy like oh you know I, I don't really care about talking about like girls parts and boobs and stuff on my channel it's all very normal but yeah my boobs are really really big for my body size uh, and I think it's giving me really bad backache and really bad chest pain so that's positive anyway today is a brand new day I'm feeling so much better now and honestly I feel like I've got like a whole new just spark of motivation like I don't know where this suddenly come from but I've been filming loads of TikToks this morning which I'm really excited for and I'm going to film a couple of more in a minute then I'm going to Firefly tonight for Grace's event with the beauty crop she's just released a new like product set it's like a cleansing bar so there's loads of us going for a brand dinner which is going to be really fun Jazz and Sofa up and Klee is coming to stay at mine tonight but I have got a few flower parcels that I thought I'd open because some of them have got clothes in and I don't really know what to wear tonight so because like I was explaining in my TikTok, I haven't actually been to like a brand dinner before. The last time I went to a brand dinner, I want to say was like March maybe. So I just get really nervous about going to like brand dinners and stuff now. But I'm really excited and I need to get myself back out there with going to events. Like I was meant to go to a couple last week. And I literally, like it's going to sound so stupid, but I literally couldn't because I was so nervous. So I'm really excited to get back into going to events and stuff. So tonight is the first of me doing that. This is, oh, thanks pretty little thing. I was going to say, I haven't actually ordered anything from PLT. So I was like, oh, what is this? But it is their advent calendar. I actually already have the glossy box one up there ready to go, but I'm going to save. Oh gosh. Okay, all the boxes are coming out. I don't really know how to get this out of the box. It is the big PLT advent calendar. I'm just going to keep that shut because I'm going to pop that on my side. How cool is that? Pretty little thing, beauty advent calendar. I'm really enjoying the front of that. I love how that looks actually. Hmm, maybe that's giving me inspo for something. Yeah, I really, really like that. So thank you so much, PLT. Very excited to open that in December. I'm just going to save all of my advent calendars and open them up in like all of my vlogs in December. Right, then we've got a couple of ego parcels because I've got some clothes from ego to wear for different events that I've got again this week. These are boots and these boots are amazing. Like ego boots are actually ridiculous. They are so gorgeous. Look at 
these are oh, i'm growing my boot collection at the moment because i'm kind of obsessed with boots is that a joke is that a joke oh my god obsessed with these and to be honest they're not too high i think boots are so much comfier than heels i'm sorry i'm just not a heels girl like i'll wear heels if i have to wear heels but give me a pair of boots or a pair of flats or a pair of trainers and i will be so much happier that these boots are Stunning. So cannot wait to wear these. Me and Byron are also shooting a load of Instagram content next week. So that's going to be really handy if I can shoot those. And then is this a dress that I ordered? I think this must be a dress. Yes, this is the most. Is it a two-piece? It's a two-piece. Oh no. Wait, so this is the dress. It's like a gorgeous black satiny sort of dress. And I love this. It kind of looks a bit like a nightgown. But then you dress it up because it's got this corset that goes with it. And it just ties around the middle. And I thought that was going to be gorgeous for the event that i'm going to so yeah got this cute little black dress i really wanted a piece of silver jewelry because all of my jewelry is gold and i used to be so against wearing silver but some of the outfits now like all the boots that i have the, the detailing is silver so i needed some like silver jewelry and i found this on ego it's like a cross necklace i don't actually have a necklace on at the moment because it's in my bedroom so i might wear this with my outfit tonight love that and then i got this bag i've actually i'm really excited to show you what is in the next couple of parcels because I ordered some bags that I think you guys are gonna love but I got this one from Ego and it is a cute little chrome hearts dupe why have I got the worst hiccups I need to hold my breath hang on but yeah I got this cute little chrome heart dupe bag I thought this was lovely I really like the color on it I'm trying to incorporate more color like I've said for weeks now but I feel like it is kind of finally working she says she's sat in a black top but anyway, I do just have one more Ego parcel to open and then I'll show you the two bags that I ordered. But this is potentially my outfit for this evening. <gasps> Yay, I've got these sunglasses. I thought these sunglasses were really, really fun. They were only £5 as well. And I just love like clear shaded glasses and they're brown like this. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love these. Oh my God, for a fiver as well. That is so good. Then I got this top. Thing is, I want to wear this tonight and I also want to wear this tomorrow because I'm going obviously dinner tonight, but then I've got a dinner tomorrow. But then I've got a dinner tomorrow for Jazz's leaving meal and I kind of want to wear this. Oh my God, this is like a thick material, but it's kind of like a diesel dupe and I really like it. It's grey and it just says die hard on it, but it's super thick material. And then I thought it would look really cool with this skirt. Maybe it won't and maybe it will actually look really really bad but on the website this skirt looked like it had gray in oh yeah it kind of does actually it is a two-piece but i loved this long maxi skirt like some of you might be thinking what on earth is the vision that you're envisioning because i can't see it and honestly i don't know how much i can see it now i'm seeing it in real life but this skirt with this top like dropped it's just the red that's like throwing me off but like if there wasn't red in this top it would look a lot better maybe i need like a red bag or something i don't know but either way i thought this skirt was really cool so i'm gonna try that on for tonight as well and it also comes with the matching top which definitely is gonna hold my boobs so i'm just gonna have to wear it with a different top but yeah that's what i got from ego and then i'm really hoping that these are the two things that i think it is but basically i went on depop and i really wanted that vintage denim louis vuitton bag but i am personally not prepared to pay the price that it actually is because some of them are about three grand if i really 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 wanted the bag and i knew i was going to use it every day like a chanel bag then i think it would be different investing in it and i know it would still be an investment piece because they're like vintage but i just didn't want to pay that because i don't know how much like it's not going to be like a everyday bag for me so i wanted to basically just find a dupe of one thought it was in this parcel but it's not so i'm hoping it's in this parcel if it's not then i've left it downstairs on the parcel shelf because there was a few parcels that were left down there but i picked up the ones that looked as though they would have a bag in it did seem they've been delivered though so i'm really quite confused what on earth is this it is the bag it is it is it is yay i don't know why but it's coming like a yellow bag so i got two bags from this depop center both of them are always dupes and i don't care about saying that but it comes with the little fake louis vuitton dust bag but how cute is that oh my god i love that's actually a really good dupe as well you know like a really good dupe i can't remember how much it was now but obviously like compared to the three grand that the real one is i was like no way i'm getting a dupe of it that is the cutest bag ever oh my god and the inside is amazing as well imagine if it turned out to actually be real and i'm like 
<laughs> I bought a dupe and it's real. I don't know. No, it can't be for the price that I paid, but oh my God, it's so cute. And then I bought this one. It's a dupe of the Goyard tote bag that everyone has. So I really wanted a nice big tote bag that can fit my laptop in for when I'm going to London. And I loved the gray one. I thought it was gorgeous. I found it from the same Depop seller and it's so nice. Obviously I need to puff it out and stuff, but it comes with the little one inside as well. And oh my God, what an absolutely gorgeous tote bag. It's massive. Like that is gonna fit so much in. What a good haul this has been. I'm absolutely buzzing with all this stuff. And I actually forgot I ordered this as well. Might not show you this though, because this is a potential birthday outfit. So happy birthday party guys, which is so exciting. I had like a big dinner last year and we all went out, but I haven't really ever had like a proper birthday party. So I'm like in the middle of planning that and like I need to still send like all the invites out and stuff. But um, yeah, very excited. So I'm not gonna show you this because like I said, it is a potential birthday outfit. But I'm gonna go and pick an outfit for tonight now, film some TikToks, make sure to go and follow me on TikTok because I'm back on the beauty and fashion content over there. Then I will show you guys my finished outfit. Okay, I've just finished filming my get ready with me. Look at my hair. I'm kind of obsessed with this. I did like a messy up bun and then because of all my snapped pieces, I could curl them all. And then I've just got on this black bodysuit and then these really cool jeans. This isn't really the best area to show you my full outfit, but I'm kind of obsessed with this look. So just thought I'd show you the finished thing. Let me just show you in the mirror the jeans. And then we are off to go and get some food. I feel so bloated and I've barely eaten today. So that's really annoying. But yeah, I'm very excited to eat so much food. I want sushi. I want sashimi. It's Firefly and they do this amazing like honey halloumi. So I really hope you can get that and edamame. Obviously, edamame. Please actually ignore the state of my bedroom. It is awful. But these are the jeans. I love these jeans. They're from PLT. They're so fun. And then I'm either gonna wear black boots or white shoes. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, this is the finished look. got back and we've got mcdonald's <laughs> that's not making it into your vlog it is Callum is not gonna leave that in he is guys open your Callum. that's not making it to your vlog it is because i will leave it in i think your voice sounds phenomenal yeah. 